everybody. My name is Jim Shear. I'm Mike Adam. And welcome to Give Me Five. And unbeknownst to a lot of people, our studios are next to a daycare center. Right. So in an attempt to get more viewers, they let us borrow a child. A beautiful child. Yeah. And the nannies are all off screen, so it's not like they just dumped her off. Right. And we're going to hang out with her for 20 minutes. We have trained professionals here. So uh, today's category is artists we hated but now like Mike, give me five. Yeah, I, I had a tough time with this one actually because I feel like all the artists I've hated, I still hate. Um, so <laughs> at the number five spot, I'm gonna go with uh, Philip Phillips. At first, Ooh. yeah, at first I thought he was gonna be very pop rock, but then um, I come to find out he's very folk rock and I actually really like him. I like his voice. I got a chance to meet him. He was the nicest guy in the world, which goes a long mm -hmm. way too. Um, at the number four spot, uh, Chris Brown. Chris Brown? I hated him at first just because he was like this young kid putting out poppy music or whatever. She agrees with me. And uh, <laughs> But then, you know, and then he had that whole incident with Rihanna or whatever. But Did then, you hate him then? Yeah. Because okay, I was wow. like, oh, not only do I not really like his music, but this guy is... You hated him even more. A, a douche. So I was, I, I was, <laughs> I was very upset. But then in 2011, he came out with Fame, and there were, you know, there was deuces on there. There was beautiful people on there. There was uh, she ain't you, and I was like, he is making great music. You can't deny that. And uh, I think he bounced back, and he's just a phenomenal dancer, and he has a lot of talent. So uh, personality aside, I like Chris Brown now. Um, at the number three spot, I'm going to go with Justin Bieber. And the same wow. with Bieber as Chris Brown. When he first came out, he was even younger. And I was like, oh, I hate this kid's music or whatever. And no, is she a believer? It, yeah, she is. She's okay, a yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but then he, uh, I forget which album it was, but he came out with Boyfriend. And he came out with that song with Big Sean. And mm -hmm. I was like, I hate that I like this. I like this. And now he's got that song with uh, Diplo and Skrillex. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Um, at the number two spot, I'm going to go with uh, Asher Roth. Okay. Um, I didn't like him for the same reason a lot of people did. He came out too close to Eminem. Some people were saying he sounded like Eminem. And I was like, ah, he can't be as good as Eminem. Who's this wannabe? And then I spent time listening to him. His debut album is great. And his music thereafter is great. And I met him too. Nicest guy in the world. <laughs> uh, you Isn't know, it crazy when you meet an artist? It goes such a long it changes way. Things? You know, um, and then at the number one spot, Shine. And the same goes for Shine as Asher Roth, kind of. Uh, people hated him just because he sounded like Biggie. And they never really gave him a listen. But once you did, he was very much his own artist. Um, and I loved his music. I have no idea what he's doing now, but I, I loved your first two albums when you weren't in jail or were in jail and still putting out music, whatever. So uh, those are my five. So yeah, we should teach the youth not to hate, and that's what we're doing today. So number five on my list, New Kids on the Block. Hated them in high school. Could not stand New Kids on the Block, but throughout the years, I got to interview with them. I got to see them perform live. And let me tell you this, they put on a damn, ooh, a darn near legendary live show. Yeah. Because it was at a festival and I thought, ah, oh, I'll stay for a minute or so. I ended up staying for the whole set. Yep. So I do like New Kids on the Block now. <laughs> Number four, Miley Cyrus. I was not a fan of Hannah Montana. And then when she made the crossover into pop music, I wasn't feeling it. She was trying to be Lady Gaga. But when she put out bangers, I felt like that was Miley truly being Miley. Doesn't seem like you agree with me. Do you agree with me? You, we're gonna get to your list very soon, <laughs> I promise. Uh, number three, The Bravery. This is kind of an obscure one. I think they disbanded a few years ago, but when they came out in 2006, I thought they were riding the coattails of The Killers. And I'm like, oh, they're too mopey, they're too dreary. They put out their 2007 album, The Sun and the Moon, and it is one of my favorite albums of the 2000s. And then I saw them perform live, and I thought, the Bravery, I, they're a solid band, so I do like the Bravery now. Yep. At number two, Rihanna. 
I did not like when Rihanna really? came out. I thought she was too poppy. I remember turning it on TRL and I wasn't a fan of her live performances. But year after year, she kept duking it out and she proved to me that she loves music and she loves doing what she does. Yes. And for that reason, I now not only like Rihanna, but I love Rihanna. And number one on my list, no doubt. When they came out, I thought, oh man, another ska band with a with a cute chick as their lead singer. I did not know their backstory, how they were super into madness, super into reggae and ska. Uh, I didn't know that Gwen Stefani had a, a vicious tomboy streak. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was when they put out Return of Saturn, and I heard Ex-Girlfriend, I thought, this is a really good band. And then I went back to Tragic Kingdom, and I went back to the album before that, and Rock Steady is one of my favorite albums of all time. So now I also love, no doubt, a group that I once hated. That's so funny, I don't like them now, but I like them then, so, all right. Uh, am I closing? You're, you're closing. I'm closing. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for looking yes. at our adorable child. And yeah. Thank you to the daycare center for letting us borrow a child for this episode of Gimme Five. I'm trying to figure out what she was looking at the whole time, but yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, uh, comment below. Let us know if you like either one of our lists, if you have a list of your own, and we will see you next week.